My name is Trenton Lamoureux, and this is Turner Drury, and we're going to be talking about like tips for sixth grade. This freshman's class is going to feel hard, but if you participate and like listen in class, then you'll, it'll be really easy for you. And then uh, Mr. Pickerel, uh, you can... It's like he's one of those classes that you have more fun in. He jokes around with you, so don't take anything serious that he says to you. I think Miss Scanlon, don't get on her bad side because she's she's the, she's our math teacher, and if you because like a lot of kids like don't participate and get bad grades on tests, but. But most people that listen and participate get good, get good grades. Let them, they'll like you more if you participate, and you'll get better grades. And then they'll like you even more, I guess. So don't be scared. It's not that hard. First of all, you gotta watch out for Miss Gale. Like Miss Gale, you can always gotta study for her, or she'll be like, she like, study. Like, you can, yeah, you always got to study because you don't have to be on those math tests. Oh, oh. You can't fail them because if you fail them, then you fail the class, then you fail the grade, and then you fail. You could be like me. Like, you could be like me, honestly. Hello, my name is Clark. This is Matthew and Gil, the beautiful mole. You can bring snacks to Miss Gavin. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a never, never, uh, ever, uh, just like get on the teacher's back. Yeah. And don't call uh, Mr. Pickerel, Mr. Pickle. He'll get ticked off. No cap. Okay, so sixth grade is not scary at all. It's just you let your mind get ahead of you. So basically, all the teachers are nice. So just be prepared. Never back talk. Be a, don't be a bad kid. Oh, and don't forget, you can wear whatever shoes you want. You can wear slides. You can wear boots. Oh, I like the match. But not on gym days. Because you go to strike. Tennis shoes on gym days. Tennis yeah, shoes. wear tennis shoes on gym days. Tennis shoes. Okay, bye. Hey guys, we're the four sixth graders. <laughs> My name is Braxton. And mine is Bill. And anyways, the things about sixth grade is don't worry about losing your classes and not knowing what you're doing. Because once you have like a really like good friend in seventh grade, they'll probably help you get your classes. If like in the brown earbud, like all the classes are like right next to each other, so it's easy for sure. Right, and six grade's just it's another version of fifth grade, just with a number that says six. So just have fun for yourself and yeah. Hey, it's so good. It's all good zone. And um, this year was fun. It was fun. Okay, I was. We'll tell you some things that are good about the school year. So. Brown deer part is really good. Y'all won't get homework that often. No. You barely do. It's really fun. Oh, and the answers are Miss Townsend. So she's like one of the best. Miss Townsend's the best. Just don't call Mr. Pickle. Mr. Pickle. You'll get in trouble. Anyways, okay. don't mind that. Don't do anything wrong. Okay. Okay. Wait. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> so, I'm hey. Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth, right? Grace. Oh, so you pull. <laughs> Okay, um, so first of all, just be yourself this year. Like, be yourself next year, going into sixth grade. Um, it was yeah. a really fun year. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, there wasn't that much, you know, I mean, there was a lot of drama, but just try to stay out of drama if don't you start it. If you get dragged into it, just say, I'm not involved in this, and don't, don't join in. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sophie, do you have any words for the oh. class? If you're forgetful like me. Uh, go on your phone, and they have the calendar app. Just try to plan things and all the homework and stuff, so you can remember it all. Yeah, but if you don't have a phone, go like go to the dollar store, get a get an agenda or something. They also have agendas here, so don't. Oh my voice. Anyway, like do your homework. Do your homework. Yeah, just do your homework. <laughs> also study, get good grades. Yeah. The best, like, I've had really bad grades, and I have a 73 right now in one of my classes. Just, just do your best. Just do your best. Study for every single test, no matter what.
You don't have to live for other people's expectations. Exactly. Live for yourself. Yeah. I mean, like most grades do like career projects at the end of the year. I mean, it is hard, but it's not stressful. Ooh, it turned out to be a fake friend. Yeah, there's a lot of drama in sixth grade. Uh, it actually depends on who you are. Like, on so people yeah. that we don't think about. But anyway, sixth grade is fun. It goes by really quick, so try to live the moment. Yeah, like, don't be bad, because sixth grade is where I Try like, not to um, get involved with a lot of boys. Yeah, they'll break your heart. No! What's up? I'm so, coming young yeah. The probably best to not get in trouble is don't be bad in gym. That's oh yeah, all yeah. Bad don't. Yeah. Don't, don't the teachers be bad. Job. They will yell at you. Don't will. pick up Beckett and throw him across the way. <laughs> Try that. Didn't work. Yeah. Don't don't Try be like Keaton. Don't kick the desk. Don't kick the desk and make it fall over. <laughs> like don't get strapped. No speed. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Okay. So hello, hello future, future sisters. Hi. We're gonna teach you what to do and how to be a sixth grader, okay? So, my name's Straighten. That's Alex. Uh, Babin. My name's Jeffrey. Oh, and I'm not even in the picture, but my name's Kaden. Sixth grade. Yeah. Okay. So, advice don't do anything bad. Get on your teacher's good side. A way to do that is in the first couple weeks, you know how they were like barely giving out strikes? Some people take that, take that to your advantage. Do bad even, stuff then. No, no. <laughs> Do good no. stuff then. Don't listen do, to me. Don't like, listen. even though they're saying they won't give you strikes, still do good stuff so you get on their good side. Exactly. Really. That's, that would that's be it. And advice. do your homework, kids. Yeah, now, we don't get much homework, but when you do, Purple make Birds sure does. you do it. So, you don't, you know, you don't okay. get in trouble. The thing is, is, you can get strikes for, like, you can, like, get a strike from forgetting your Wait, pencil. they don't know what a strike is. I know, okay, okay. So, okay. a strike is a yellow piece of paper. You, you get, get it when, when you, you do, do something, something bad. bad. But you, you get, get three of those, you get detention. And you can, remember this, you can get a strike for forgetting your pencil. Bro. So, you got to be prepared. Hey, I didn't see you there. Hey, youngsters. So, my name is Lexi, and um, I'm going to give you a tip on what you might want to know for sixth grade. So always wear the appropriate shoe for the appropriate day. You wear tennis shoes on a gym day and any other shoe on another day. Here's Harper. Hey guys, my name's Harper. Um, if you're probably wondering about the teachers being strict, they're not, so don't worry about it. Here's Hannah. Hi, I'm Hannah, and I just wanted to give you one tip. Always do your work, and you should be nice. Here's Madison. Hey guys, I'm Madison, and a few tips I wanted to give you was to charge your Chromebook and always bring your charger the next day. Hey guys, I'm Sadie, and make sure to charge. Er, <laughs> make sure to um, put your phone on silence every day, and make sure to finish your work every day. Bye, Bye guys. Hey, future sixth graders, here's some tips that might help you in sixth grade. Always bring your charger and your Chromebook to school, um, and always wear the appropriate shoes. Unlike me on my first day. I wore high heels and it made my feet cramp really, really bad because I was running around school all day trying to figure out all the situations around here and where everything was at and my feet really hurt after that. And also, always finish your work on time and always do your homework and that will help you and the teachers will like it a lot better if they know that you're responsible and ready at all times. And always study for tests. Sixth grade, you'll usually have tests for at least four tests every Friday, and you need to study hard for that. So, and don't worry about the teachers being like very like mean. They're all very sweet and kind. Bye. Hey, Hi, future sixth graders. graders. Here's some tips you need to know for when you come. So, make sure that you that you charge your Chromebook every day for class. Don't forget your homework and do your work on time and study for tests. Make sure you bring the appropriate shoes for gym. And do your best. Bye! Bye.